Now, I know you're sitting there thinking, she said make friends with the uh, perfected ones. How are we going to meet our new friends? So I'm going to tell you, or rather Flower is going to tell you. Master souls stand before us wherever we meet them, whether that's in the study of their writings or in direct contact with the spirit sphere of God. Through prayer and meditation, or in the unusual and rare occurrence that they manifest themselves to us in some way of their own choosing. And I had a, such an encounter with, with one who stood before me in the invisible when um, some years ago, well, many years ago actually, when my ex-husband and I separated, I was considering returning home and moving back to England. At the time, I only had one adult child living here in California. My other two uh, were in England and Germany. All of my um, birth family were in Europe. But every time that I thought about moving back, it was like an invisible hand was standing in front of me saying, stop, don't go. And I used to kind of test it out. And, and then and the hand would always be there, stop, don't go. So. The shimmering words of the Master John when he spoke of Christ really resonated with me when I really sat and reflected on that experience. The Master John said that he, Christ, simply said, John, and I invite you to place your own name in this in front now. I'm going to say, Julie, the Father has called you to a work. You must know your soul must have informed you of this work for mankind that you are here to do with me. And then he said, are you willing to come? Do you trust me? Do you feel strong enough to travel with me through unknown perils to new estates of light? And as you can see, I chose to remain. And it was a scary choice but I can tell you that my decision to trust and travel with Christ through unknown perils into new estates of light continues to be gloriously rewarding. Some days I just feel guilty. I can't believe how fortunate I am to do the work I do both here at Quest Haven and with all the wonderful young people that I serve.